St George Private Hospital is on track to becoming the first NADA accredited paediatric sleep unit in New South Wales. That's the highest level possible in any public or private hospital. What many parents fail to realise is that obstructive sleep apnea in children has been very clearly linked to ADD, trouble with concentration, behaviour, learning, reduced IQ and even mental health problems. With over 300 accredited specialist doctors, 16 operating theatres and on-site pathology and radiology, we're extremely well equipped to look after all your child's paediatric needs. I love working with Greg because He's a dentist who became an ENT surgeon and he's not just an ENT surgeon and dentist, he's also a maxillofacial surgeon and a head and neck surgeon. While many children have their sleep apnea fixed by having their tonsils and adenoids removed, children also need orthodontic work to treat them. And this is where Greg can put on two hats at once and his patients really appreciate this level of expertise. No other private sleep lab can do this sort of work. Children under one year of age who need CPAP and those sorts of things would otherwise need to go to the children's hospitals. We're proud of the fact that we have developed extensive experience in doing the most challenging sleep studies for the most challenging children, including toddlers who are under a year of age and children with special needs such as autistic spectrum disorders, Down syndrome, the list is endless. I know it's like small. I come from Campbelltown and I have dwarfism. If I didn't have CPAP, I'd be restless, I wouldn't be able to concentrate in class, I'd be tired. If I didn't have this machine, I'd be bad. We can use our discretion and offer reduced gap and even no gap studies for families who are finding it difficult financially. Our team treats the whole gamut here the whole team working together towards one goal, ensuring that our smallest patients have the very best outcomes. It's a great privilege in treating these children to see the results that we achieve in regards to improvements in their behaviour, sleep, breathing, hearing, and uh, obtain a quality of life that they've not often had previously. This is our sleep monster, Sully. I pinched him off my kids when we first started the sleep lab about 13 years ago and he's seen almost every patient that I have since then. When I finish school, I want to be an electrician. If someone's got a problem or they can't um, reach it down low, I could just come in and say, hi, how you going? I can get into the littlest places. Bye for now, see you soon.